Welcome to the channel, everyone. I just passed the CRTO. Uh, officially got the badge last night at 8.01, 8.05 ish, around in between there at PM. Uh, passed it earlier, earlier in the morning, pretty much did that throughout Friday at 12 PM CST is when I started the exam. So officially, once you do the minimum of six flags, that's when you pass. And if I read it correctly, uh, 2 a.m. or 2.30 a.m. London time, that's when they go over and check and they'll send your badges or your you know badge that you pass and all that stuff. But before that, I got the um, notification that I've been added to the Red Team Operators community uh, chats or whatever they're called. So that was good, and I uh, went through there and read some some cool, interesting stuff about it, and um, pretty much it's a nice little community that they have. Uh, ask questions, get some things answered, some new tools that are coming along, et cetera. Um, so with that, I am going to do a review of the CRTO tomorrow. I was asked to start how I started the road to the CRTO and what led me to it. So with that being said, uh, what how I got started into it was uh, – Diving into C2s, uh, actually, too, where I really got into C2s was doing the CRTP, uh, building the co Covenant Lab, as they gave you instructions on, on how to build your own uh, C2 setup. And then also, the kicker, which is going to be the main touching point on this video, is going to be the Rasta Labs review, uh, Rasta Pro Labs review. So um, that's pretty much what I'm going to cover in this video. And then again, tomorrow, I'm going to drop the full CRTO uh, review video and pretty much lessons learned, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it, um, some tips on it. And uh, so, yeah, let's get into this video. So, as you can see, it is CrowdStrike Monday. Um, for those that see me wearing a lot of the CrowdStrike swag, uh, usually they're filmed on Monday. Uh, I think maybe once or twice I might've worn on a different day. Um, but that's, you know, I love CrowdStrike, love the people there, the team, love everything that they're doing. Um, with that being said, getting into this video, um, for the Pro Labs, I'm gonna try to get my thoughts clear. For the Pro Labs, these are great training supplements um, for OSC, well, if you're taking OSCP, I believe after November, then I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, not. I would recommend it just for the AD part because they're supposed to take away the um, getting uh, from the external standpoint. CPTS, PMPT, these are really great supplements for that. I would highly recommend it. Now, the, the downside with this is that they cost money monthly or a year membership. It is worth it if you're going to be consistent with it and have the drive to do it. However, if not, you're just wasting your money. You're just giving them free money. Uh, I'm just going to say it like it is. I have the membership. Um, pretty much, I've completed Dante, Ross Labs. I'm still working on Zephyr, Offshore, and Cybernetics. Um, we're planning with our team since, you know, we have a lot of cruise liners. Uh, where'd it go? For the new one? Where? I thought it was on here. Uh, I guess it's not released yet. I thought it was released, but they had a new one called Alchemy, I believe it is. Um, yeah, here we go. So we're planning on doing this one during the like holiday shutdown, Christmas, New Year's Eve shutdown. This, the reason why we're planning on doing it is because it has a lot of OT. Uh, it's operational technology security. Um, so at a level two for red team operator. So this is something that we're, we're gonna do during the shut, holiday, Christmas break, New Year's shutdown. Uh, that's weird that it wasn't on there, unless I missed it. But um, again, these are worth it if you could utilize it and they make sense and they're justified as far as the cost. Now, if you're going for those certs and you're really trying to learn, uh, it's going to teach you new things in these different labs. You're going to see different types of exploits, different types of uh, ways you're going to have to do pivoting, tunneling, etc. cetera. Um, I actually, actually, I can't say that because it's on the CPTS, but there is one lab that's similar to the CPTS where... Uh, let's just say you might have to do dual tunneling, if that makes sense. Um, but uh, at least for the way I found it. But I mean, they are good if you're going to use them. Um, so after uh, next, I am going to be doing this one. Um, 
I believe this is a blockchain. I did start the Nmap scans, um, and it does. It looks like it's going to be some kind of blockchain related uh, casino or something like that. At least that's what I got from the login page. Um, but yeah, so oh, there it is, right here. Shit, I am blind. Um, so again, that's my recommendation on these labs. So Rasta Labs. Back to the main point of this video. Rasta Labs helped me with the just the CR2 understanding framework concept. I got into this. I started my CRTO last March, April. Was supposed to take the exam beginning or, or beginning second first or second week of August. Got into an incident at work that daisy chained into two other incidents, so there was three total. However, I never did the exam, uh, changed it. I lost out on that exam. I pretty much wasted the fucking money. Um, so what I did was, uh, for those that watch my videos and those that know me know that I studied for, I still went over the labs and the reading material and my notes on Obsidian every morning, pretty much at least minimum 40 minutes a day. And then once I redid the labs, we purchased the labs, we, I went through the labs again. Uh, it was pretty much an hour to two hours in the morning. I stopped doing my cardio, got a little chubby in the morning. So, um, you know, that's what I did for, for that. And, and yeah. But before that, I did Rasta Labs. I did it probably, um, I want to say about 75, 80% when I did that. Um, I don't know if I could pull it up, but let's see. Overview, reviews, lab. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's see if I could just download it and show it. So I officially completed this July 20th of this year. Uh, like I said, I had 75 or 80% completed already. Uh, not, this is like a little bit right after I finished. Uh, I started, I completed the rest right after I finished Dante. Um, so that's pretty much that. Um, and you'll see it on the thumbnail as well. Uh, there was, wasn't really some good vectors for thumbnails for the YouTube video. Um, but however, I do like this lab, especially getting, if, if you're new to C2s, uh, however, you know, have some pen testing knowledge, Linux knowledge, some baseline networking, have that first before you try to dive into this, um, or else you're going to get really stuck and, uh, you know, running around to chicken with like a head cut off, running around like a chicken with, with its head cut off. And that's not good. Have a baseline understanding, Linux, networking, pen testing. Once you have that foundation, then come up to this. Um, and I'm not telling you to do the CRT. I'm just saying just to get that concept. This is very good for that. Uh, now let's go to the review overview. There we go. So pretty much this is intermediate. I don't think it's intermediate for me. I would say it's in between intermediate and beginner. Um, again, just because above beginner, just because it, it is dealing with the C2. Um, however, you are going to do other things as well. Um, it's not, it's just not all C2. So just keep that in mind, but it gives you the baseline understanding of this. Um, I would, I would recommend this, especially as a supplement to your, um, your CRTO training as well. Um, it helped me out a lot. Um, and just kind of what I got from this too, as well, is kind of putting the pieces together as far as from a com concept framework standpoint, this really helped me out a lot getting to understand it. Um, and I would highly recommend this lab, uh, again, for, as a supplement to training. And also if you, if you not even doing the CRTO, uh, just, just training and learning as well, uh, especially if you're new to the C2s and, but you have that baseline built up. I would definitely definitely go into it, um, and also for those that didn't know, Rasta Labs is created by Rasta Mouse, which is I believe the main instructor, one of the main instructors on zero point security for the CRTO. Uh, so uh, that's also pretty cool that you know he created or helped develop this uh, this lab. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much pretty much what I want to go off of. Um, again, I don't just. And I kind of got this with the OSCP going into pen testing, red teaming, that I just don't take one single source of training. So say like, I'll use an example for PMPT, right? I didn't just use their material. I also went because their labs are straight, even though you don't need it, I wanted to actually get into actual real world environment that I didn't set up myself. Now their labs are great, their training is great, and it's right to the point that that's all you need for their exams, and that is true. And you don't even need to watch all their videos. 
or training materials, excuse me. But I wanted to go into a real world environment that had not me set up, not them set up. It was just, you know, full balls to the wall go. So we did Dante. We, I, we, we did Dante again. Um, we did Dante half and half. Well, we did the first half for OSCP. We started over for PMPT and finally finished it together. So we, it was me and three other people training. Well, me and one other training for the OSCP and then four people training for the PMPT. Uh, for those that know that watched our videos, uh, the, the live uh, InfoSec Pat was one of them. And then uh, two other of our friends, they're also, those two other people are my coworkers as well. So we did the training for that. And pretty much we, we ran Rasta Labs like a real pen test engagement. Uh, pretty much used Discord. And that's pretty much, uh, you know, how we conducted the training. So, and, and I got some questions uh, in some of the comments on, on how do I... Um, how was it asked? How do I study or how do I uh, able to maintain and get different perspectives? I study with the group. It's hard to study by yourself, uh, especially if you get stuck and you've never seen something before, because what I bring to the table, someone else might not have and vice versa, what they bring to the table or how they see things from a third party standpoint I'd, or, you know, different perspective, different way of thinking outside the box, whatever you want to call it. You're going to be able to get that, see that and understand how they looked at it and how they were able to to go through their methodologies and how they were able to come to that conclusion that, hey, this exploit's gonna work, this is why we should do it, et cetera. So that's pretty much why, and also it's like a real engagement when you do it with these pro labs. So you're actually not just learning different ways and you're also not being able, you're also being able to ask questions along the line if you don't understand it, but someone else does. Um, you're, you're getting that knowledge that you wouldn't find doing this by yourself or it'd be really, really, really hard. Um, so that's, that's my recommendation is always study with at least one person. Um, try to do it as a group, especially if you are going into pen testing, red teaming. Th these labs are great because you get to hit it like it's a real world engagement. Um, same, like I was talking about with Alchemy, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit it like it's a real world engagement as far as from the OT network standpoint. Um, so that's gonna be our goal uh, during the holiday shutdown. And, and pretty much the labs that I have worked on it's always been with at least one other person hitting it like it's a um, it's an engagement, and also utilizing you know we use Discord for for these uh, the groups and the people that I do the training with, and we that's like you know if you're internally we use Teams, uh, Slack, um, some people you might use some other things, even Discord itself. So that's pretty much pretty much how I do the training. Um, same thing with PNPT and OSCB for the labs. Uh, even though the labs were shit, we, we pretty much gave up after, I think, 80% of it. Um, but we ran those labs kind of like, an, uh, you know, an engagement on Discord. Same thing like, uh, you know, how did you get this command? What led you to think this way? Or how did you see this being exploited this way? Or, or how did you find this exploit to, you know, I searched exploit DB GitHub. I didn't find it. Oh, well, I went to Hack Tricks. Some, some new people might not know what Hattricks or GTFO bins or something like that. Let me show you how you search on GT. So you're going to learn all kinds of different tricks of the trade that's going to help you, not just in your in the job long term, that you're going to always be able to build on a reference point, but you're also going to be able to utilize like Hattricks, GTFO o bins, and all, all other kinds of things from GitHub, other tools uh, that you're going to be able to utilize on your exams. So I know OSCP or OFSEC might have more restrictions on that, but CTP, CPTS or Hack the Box, um, uh, TCM Security, you can use whatever the hell you want. So you're going to learn all that stuff. You're, you're not just going to learn, you know, the pen testing engagement side. You're also going to learn new tricks of the trade that you're going to able to, to you're going to be able to add to your tool belt and your skill set. And you're going to be able to use it on a real life engagement for work, the job, et cetera, or for a client if you go on your own. So that's pretty much how I would hit these labs, um, especially utilizing it for training for, for CRTO, uh, PMPT, CPTS, et cetera. That way you're always learning. And not only that, the, probably the biggest thing and big thing is that your, your partner that your, stu your study partner or group they're going to keep everyone accountable. Uh, remember, it's all about drive. Throw out your motivation. Everyone's motivated for New Year's to get that new body. Two, three, two, three months, they're stopped. They, they're, 
they're delayed or they stop, they cancel their gym membership. You have to have drive. The days you're sick, you don't feel like it. You didn't get good. You only got two, three hours of sleep. Kids crying, kids sick. You got to show up. They keep you accountable. Again, consistency is key for pen testing, red teaming, cybersecurity in general. You have to be consistent. You always got to be ahead on top of the trends, curves, new technology. You always got to be reading. You always got to be engaged and showing up. 80% is just showing up. So, uh, I mean, that's pretty much giving with anything, especially the job. So that's my recommendation. Top three recommendations for these, um, for CRTO at least. Rasta Labs, utilize it as a real engagement because you're not, it's going to be something new, but it's more concept core framework. Second, at least have one study partner, a group professional or preferably utilize it as a real engagement. Um, not just for CRTO, but all these other um, all these other uh, labs and certs, et cetera, if you can. And also do do these as a real engagement outside of work for fun with your your um, uh, with your coworkers because you know this will build. Say if it's a new team or new people that that are formed or it's a new group, you're going to build that camaraderie. You're going to build that. You know, you're pretty much going to know your teammate from the back of their hand, uh, back of your hand. Um, you know, you're going to build that relationship, that bond, um, knowing how they work, knowing how you function. When someone calls in sick or whatever, you're going to know what they do. You're going to know where their notes are, how their note. You're going to know how they write their notes. If they need, if they were that person that needed to present to a certain a group, executive, etc., you're going to build that relationship to know that person inside and out. So these are just these are just great overall to mm -hmm. use. In general um, and then thirdly consistency just show up consistent be consistent have that drive um, so those would be my top three things um, for studying starting off with CRTO using Rasta labs and other labs for for other certs um, those would be my top three recommendations this is a great lab again just to understand the concept of cores of not just C2 framework putting everything together um, that's my recommendation for this uh, after that, tomorrow I will be releasing my full review of the CRTO. I'll be filming it today, but it'll be released tomorrow. Um, and then, yeah, uh, CRTO, I'll just give some quick takes. It was good. It was great. Again, I had to rush that because I think the next week on the 18th, um, that's when I, that was my deadline for my part of my yearly uh, goals to be completed. Um, so pretty much I just need the OSCP at the end of, uh, December 31st and I'll be good and I'll met all my goals as far as personal training and development. Um, CPTS is just a bonus. CBBH is just a bonus. And the PWPT from TCM is just a bonus, but I plan on getting those before December 31st as well. Um, so yeah, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if I missed anything or anything you guys would add as far as training, studying group, how to retain information, how to study fast. Um, so Again, tomorrow will be the full review of the CRTO. And uh, that's it. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, have a good one, everyone. See you tomorrow.